Hello? Hi, it's Roy. I left a note on your car last week. Oh, yes, Roy. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm okay, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Um, where did you, where did you hit the car? Well, I didn't hit it exactly. I, I hooked up a chain to the axle because I was trying to pull it with my car. And oh, the, why would... The chain kind of, it, it went, it kind of hit the bottom of the bumper as I was pulling it. Oh, okay. So you, you, you were, you weren't trying to pull my car, right? No, I was, but it didn't work because I drive one of those little smart cars, just a two seater. And it just, it wasn't strong enough to pull your car because it was in park. Okay, why did you want to pull my car? I don't know. Just, you know, no reason. You wanted to hook up a chain and, and pull my car for some reason? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it wouldn't, it, to do. it wouldn't work because I, I drive a really small car, so it, your car was stronger than mine. Um, I guess you're not a local person, hey? Well, uh, I th- no, well, no, not really. I'm from Washington. Oh, you're from Washington. Okay. Yep. So the only thing I'm trying to, I'm still trying to get my head around this is that why, why did you want to hook up a chain to my car and pull it just for something to do? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, uh, you know, don't, don't worry about it. I was just, just wanted to pull it. You just wanted to pull the car? Yeah, I wanted to pull okay. it down the street. You wanted to pull the car down the street? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this something that you do like on a regular basis? Or oh no, no, not usually. No, just just yours. Just mine. Yeah, well, I just got the chain. I, I was just really itching to test it out. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I I think the car is actually okay. Oh, okay. So That's I don't good. think we. Yeah, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Okay. All right. But well, yeah, it's just it's up underneath on the bottom of the bumper. You can't really see it. But if if it's a problem, just let me know, and I'll give you my insurance information. Okay, and you know what? Maybe that's not a really good thing to do in the future. Oh, I don't know. Like pull people, pull people's cars with well, a, with a chain. I think I should pull smaller cars because my car is pretty small and it it, it doesn't ha- it only has so much power to pull cars. Okay, yeah, I, I hear you. So you know what? Maybe I should get your address and uh, just for information purposes. Oh no, okay? you don't need that. Nah, you don't need it. I don't need your address. No. Nah. Are, are you coming back up this way anytime soon, or? Well, yeah, I live. I'm kind of living in the area right now. You're living in the area. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for work. Oh, okay. All right. Well, just do me a favor, okay? And yeah, don't don't pull my car. Well, I, I won't because I I can't. I would, but I can't. Oh, you know, okay. my car's too small. Okay. It's yeah, a, that's just not a it's not a cool thing to do. It's a smart car. Okay. So yeah, you will. Thanks for calling. You're welcome. Have a good Have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Kisses. We just tuned into the snowplow show. Yes. That's when we realize that we're in luck. We can't wait till the prank calls begin. When Brad makes landlords angry, we're listening to the Snowplow Show. When psycho complainers get accused, we're listening to the Snowplow Show. Meanwhile, Brad is drinking for locals. Cactus. We'll convert rooms into pools and we'll get dark shit in our hair. And we'll install cameras in cacti and spy on the town of Paradise Valley. And we'll call our patrons and I know that we'll laugh. And we'll give snake eyes to those who don't And that's my life on PLA Well, that's just life on PLA Cactus. And that's just life on PLA
Hey there, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 592 for November 9th, 2019. And this one's brought to you by Ryan Jardina, Travis B, Anagol 009, Gobi, and B.I. Eber for life. Those are just a few of the people who support this show. Thank you, everybody, for helping keep this show going. Thanks to the new people who've signed up, like Mr. Z and Chris, Ocular Pat Down, Stephen R, Timothy H, Mitch, Randy S, Brandon Y, Mr. Abstruse, Jonathan H, and Austin. Those are some of the new people who've signed up recently since I last did a show last week. I haven't done any shows this week. It's Saturday, and I'm doing my first snowplow show. I have done a couple of hobo sods this week. But this is the first snowplow show of the week. Sorry about that. The most recent hobo sode was one that's available for everybody, though, so you can listen to it. Even if you're not a supporter of the show, you can find that on phonelosers.com. It's called Inappropriate Halloween Candy. It's an entire show of me telling people that they gave my kids penis shaped lollipops or whatever. And before that one, we had hobo sode 209, which was called New World Order. I talked to a guy that had a bunch of rats in his trailer and a conspiracy lady. She was a lot of fun. And if you listen to the hobo sode, you know that the conspiracy lady was posting on 4chan about the calls that I made to her, which was awesome. She made the call seem like a much bigger deal than it actually was, telling everyone how I'm beaming down microwaves at her. If you'd like to hear the hobo sodes, you can find those at patreon.com slash phone losers. Hey, remember on the last show where I'm, I'm like, you know what, I think this new project too, it's gonna stick around for a while. Dick's not going to abandon it. It seems like a pretty good deal. So fuck my website. Don't sign up on my website. Just use newproject2.com slash phone losers. Well, guess what? Exactly a day after I made that show and told everyone to use New Project 2, the banks shut Dick down. Like, he can't take payments anymore on New Project 2, and he's trying to figure out a solution. He says he has over a thousand people using New Project 2. So he's not going to just let it go, but you might not get charged this month or next while he tries to figure things out. But don't worry, the secret shows are still going to come there. And I have faith in Dick Masterson. I think he'll get this thing working within another month or two. He's just got to figure something else out. Maybe we'll all start using Bitcoin or something there. But that kind of sucks. You know, if you really want to, you can sign up on the Phone Losers website instead at phonelosers.com slash cactus. God damn it, though. Stupid banks messing with us all. I'm sorry that I jinxed you, new project too. Hey, we need to talk about PLA coins before we get started today. Because as you probably noticed, I did not do 2019 PLA coins. I decided that I needed a break from that for a year. But I want to do 2020 coins. And I am good with just reusing Don Fickle's 2018 design and changing the year to 2020. I mean, that's okay, right? It's not like... U.S. currency changes their design every fucking year. They just change the year on it, right? I mean, except for the quarters where they do all the states, but I'm sure they've done all those by now, haven't they? Are they doing something else? So that's probably what I'm going to do for the 2020 coin designs, and I'm not going to get all fancy this time with the Kickstarter. I'll probably do another Kickstarter because that's the only way I can get these made because I have to spend over $1,000 just to get them made. And last time in 2018, I got a little carried away with all the extras and stuff, the lapel pins, the snowplow show coins, and I didn't know that the shipping was gonna be insane overseas. Next year, I'm gonna have all this shit figured out. I'm not gonna lose money this time. I mean, unless I raise like $8,000 in the Kickstarter. Then I'll do Snowplow Show Coins or something else. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll just pocket all that extra money. But if anyone wants to just completely blow me away with an amazing new coin design for the 2020 coins, I will consider that too. No promises or anything, but if you want to send something in to show at snowplowshow.com, or maybe you just want a different design on the back of the coin or on the front of the coin. I love the designs how they are right now, though. I hate to see those go away. But if you can do better than Don Fickles from Clownsec, feel free to email me your new coin designs for 2020. I'll probably try to do those as early as I can in the year. Uh, One more thing before we get started. I released yesterday a brand new Mr. Dobelina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. And by brand new, I mean, you know, playing old calls in it. But there's some good calls in there if you want to go listen to it. You can find that show at worldofprankcalls.com. And also yesterday, I was on the Cripplecast 
with Cripple Jesus. He's somebody from the Dick Show community. That was kind of fun. I was on there with Larry from the Larry Show. And I think Cripple Jesus said that's going to be released on Monday if you want to check that out. But look for the Cripple Cast. It's a fun podcast. I listen to it every once in a while. Hello. Hi, Angelica. This is she. Hey there. Uh, th- this is Steve Dave from the apartment office. Yes. Um, I needed to let you know uh, someone's going to be there probably tomorrow. They're going to dump some sand in your living room. I'm sorry? <laughs> sand? Like just regular sand? Why, why are they going to do that? Uh, it's, just a, it's just a thing they're doing for a beach theme. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm th- from the office. It's just, you know, it's going to be better than carpet because we won't have to take care of it and stuff. You're just going to have sand in the living room floor. <laughs> I'm going to hang up now and call the office and make sure that this is what who this really is. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be the one that picks up and then you'll feel foolish. Okay, there she goes. Does she really need to call the office and make sure that was real? She couldn't just figure out that that was not real. Hello? Hi, Ann. Yep. Hey there. Uh, it's uh, Steve Dave. I'm with Royco's Tree and Lawn Service. Um, I was calling to let you know we accidentally uh, sprayed your lawn this week. We were supposed to do another lawn on your street, and uh, we did yours by by accident. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know how you would have done that with all the leaves and everything on it. Oh, we just sprayed on and top snow. of the leaves. It just soaks right through. And what's it for? Uh, it kills the grass. It's for people that want to uh, install AstroTurf. Hmm. This so, doesn't sound likely. Yeah. So when the snow melts, it's, it's, gonna, it's just going to be a bunch of dirt down there. Oh, uh, interesting. Yep. All right. Thank you. Not that interesting, but... Well, shit, that didn't work out. And I forgot that in this area, it's very snowy right now. We figured this out the other day when I used this list for trick-or-treating stuff. So I guess I can't really do lawn calls right now. Hello, this is Brianna. Oh, hey, Brianna. It's uh, Roy down the street. I'm your neighbor. Um, You know the one with the car? In in Colorado? Yeah, yeah. Circle. Okay, I I no longer live in Colorado. Oh, don't lie. Um, I was wondering, can you can you please stop coming over and writing your name on my car window in the in the frost? Who is this? Uh, this is Roy, just down the street from you. Yeah, I do not listen. I do. Not, I no longer live in Colorado. Okay, you can stop lying to me because you keep writing your full name on my window with the heart around it. I'm not interested. I'm married. Just please stop doing that. Please. It leaves marks on my windows. Okay, can you send me some photos of those marks, please? No. Just just stop doing it. Why don't you take photos yourself when you come here and do it? Yeah, I'm not sure who this is or what you're trying to pull. Um, I'm not trying to pull anything. I just want you to stop writing on my car window. I no longer live in Colorado, so I don't know what your problem is. Okay, well, I apologize, well, but I'm not there. You're being kind of immature by doing it in the first place, and now you just won't man up and admit that you're doing it. Just just please stop. That's all I ask. Just cut it out. I moved from Colorado three months ago. I no longer live in the state. Right. Then then how come your name's still showing up on my window in the snow and the frost? I have no idea what you're talking about. Every morning. You write your name in my window. Don't appreciate it. Just, just please stop. Yeah, I'm not okay? sure what you are referring to. Uh, I'm referring to you writing your name on my window, I'm putting a big heart around Listen, it. I'm not even interested, I okay? I'm married. I don't even know who you are, first off. Second of all, I moved from Colorado three months ago to New Jersey. I can send you paperwork. You know what? I'm not going to bother to send you paperwork. But if I don't you have care. issues I don't with want this, your, call the police. I don't want your damn call paperwork. I just want you to stop writing on my damn car window. Okay, you know what? Please lose this number because I'm not sure who you are or what you're trying to pull. If you call me again, I will call the police. Oh, Thank whatever. You. I'm going to call the police because you're writing on my car window. I love that she's trying to figure out what the scam is. Like, what's his angle here? What's he trying to pull? Hello? Hi, Marsha. 
I mean, Mar- Margaret, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, this is Steve Dave from the post office. Yes. Okay. And you've got a large... I just don't... I just, sorry, I'm just not used to the post office calling. Okay. Settle down. Um, What's you, up? You've just got a really large box here that should be picked up today. Like it's a, Where? At the post office. Which, um, it won't fit sorry, in... Sorry, there are many post... Which one? My P.O. box? Yeah, the or one my... where you have the P.O. box. On the okay. Sorry, I wasn't and, sure if this was also for my home address, so which is a different P.O. <sighs> You're just, okay. Sorry. Anyway, uh, the box is, it's pretty much, it's bigger than our, our lobby even. You know, it's like out in the parking lot. So you're going to need to get a large truck or crane or whatever to, to take this away, I guess. Okay, this sounds like a prank call now. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Okay, it's not a prank call. We really need you to pick this up, ma'am. Okay, so who is the box addressed to? Margaret. Is it addressed to, and who is it from? I, it's look, just come here and look at it. You can look at the return address yourself. It's got like a, a invoice tacked to the side of it, but it's inside of a package, you know, a little pouch. But it, it's ta- uh, it's taller than so our. So do I need a pickup? So do I need a pickup truck? You're gonna need more than a pickup truck. This is taller than our building. Okay, then I didn't order it, so I'm not sure what that is. Okay, well, you need to come here and pick it up, okay? Because we don't, you know, you're, it's taking up a bunch of parking spaces, and we don't know what else to do with it, and something, it's got to go. Okay, I'll swing by. Okay. okay when you Thank swing you. by, can you leave the attitude at home? Uh, you'll have to forgive me. This is an unusual call. Okay, well... I mean, you had the attitude even before the call turned unusual. You're being kind of a complete bitch from the very beginning. So maybe just try and leave the attitude at home. Okay. Hello? Hi, Melissa. Yes. It's uh, Steve Dave from the apartment office. Uh Uh-huh. I was calling to let you know we're going to be uh, coming by there and just uh, um, probably, uh, you know, before the, before five we're going to be dumping a bunch of sand in your living room. What? Just Why? Say, like beach sand. It's it's a, it's like a new thing we're going to do instead of uh, just the carpet thing. Seriously? Yeah. Yep. So uh, are you going to be home for that? Now, who are you with? I'm with the apartment built, you know, with the, uh, the office. Well, which, which apartment? Your apartment. Apartment C. Um, who approved this? Uh, it's something we're doing for all of the units, so there's no approving it. It's just something we're going to be doing from now on. That seems weird. What do you mean weird? To put sand on carpet? Yeah, it's going to be on top of the carpet. It'll be like a, a protective layer. Layer. Uh, what's and, your name again? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm in the apartment office. So I'm just letting you know we're going to be coming by and doing that pretty soon. Uh, you, you don't have any pets there or anything, do you? Do I'm going to wh- check with the owner first. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd be fine. I, I, can, I can put Carol on if you want. Sure. She's the yeah. only one that's in here. Um, if you want to hold, I can go ahead and put her on. Yeah. Okay, uh, just a minute, please. Hi, this is Carol. Can I help you? Hi, hi. Yeah, I this um this call just seems a little weird that you're coming into the apartment to dump sand on carpet. Yeah, we've been getting that a lot today. It's it's just it's something new we're trying. We're just gonna be putting sand in all of the units. And uh, um, we sent out a letter about this. Did you get the letter? I did not get the letter. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. You should probably check your mail because it's in there somewhere. I, I check it every day. Okay. So well, you must have thought it was junk mail and thrown it away. But, yep, we're going to be putting sand in there. You're going to have sand instead of carpet. And, and who approved this? Um, well, the, the, you know, just the, the company that owns the, the apartment complex, they approved it. Okay, but I'm also curious, like, what are their names? I just want to make sure you have the accurate, correct 
that this isn't some scammy stuff thing going on. So that's scammy. what I'm trying to get some more information of. No, it's, it's not scammy. It's it's better for the floors. You know, it's like less maintenance and everything. But uh, is Bob Murphy? Okay, so I'm just Bob, Bob Murphy so I, is the, is the owner of the uh, the overall complex and everything, and he he's the one okay, that well, gave I, final approval. So what is the address you have for this um, where you're going? Because I've moved, and so I don't have. Rob is not my direct manager, so I'm just curious. What address do you have? Uh, Thirty three Street. Apartment okay, Rob C. Murphy is not the owner. He's not the manager. No, Bob Murphy. I'm no. The, the, I'm talking about the owner, the actual owner of the property. Like you don't know mm -hmm. the owner. Right. Yeah. yeah His name is not Rob or Bob. Uh -uh. Yeah, Bob Murphy. No, you wouldn't know him. But we're gonna be over there by five. Uh, we're we're doing a few units today, and we'll be dumping sand in your living room. Okay, well, I'm going to check with my homeowner, my landlord, who is the owner. So um, you can do that. But, please stand you know, by. I'm going to. You, you want so, me to? Okay. You, you want me to stand by, like I have to hold, while you call the owner? Well, or I'll call you. I'll call you back at whatever number just popped up. So okay, uh, you can do that. I mean, I could go get the owner. I could put him on the phone, but I don't think he needs to be bothered by you. Like we're we're just trying to do our jobs here. Well, I appreciate that, but it also just, I've never heard of such a thing. Bob. I mean, unless you want to scan Bob. and email the letter. Bob, get on the phone. Hello, this is Bob. Can, can Hi, I help Bob. you? Bob. Yeah, this is, sounds a little suspect to put sand on carpet, and I was not made aware that anyone was going to be coming by to do this. Okay, well, you know, you're not a homeowner. You're just an apartment dweller, so you wouldn't know what's good what? and what's bad. This is be okay. this is what's best but for the building, so you need to just shut your mouth and <laughs> let us do our job. How are these people needing to check to make sure this is legit? Wouldn't they just know that it's not legit? They're not going to put sand in your apartment floors. Come on. It's ridiculous. Oh, look. The next number is another apartment building. Hello? Hello, Michelle? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from the apartment office. Yeah. Um, d did you get the letter in the mail? We're going to be uh we're going to be putting some Tesla power walls in your closet. No. Okay, yeah. Um we're going to be there on Monday morning to put in some Tesla power walls. You know, okay, it's like I'm off of work Monday. Can you do it Tuesday? Um no, we've already got the contractor scheduled to come out on Monday. They're just going to be filling up your entire front room closet with Tesla, Tesla power walls. Okay, what time is this? Um, in the morning, probably like uh, yeah, what you know, time? nine, right around nine o'clock. Okay, eight that's or fine. Nine. But okay. yeah, the, um, you're not going to be able to use the closet anymore. It's going to be packed full of Tesla power walls. Just gonna... I'm not going to have any storage room. Yeah, yeah, we don't have room down here in the office for them. It's it's so if the power goes off. We still have power in the office, and these Tesla power walls are really, really big. Okay, so that's fine, but will they, will I be able to put stuff back in it? Oh, no, no. It's going to be very hot in there. There's going to be a lot of a lot of heat coming out of the closet because it, it just generates, uh, you know, it's storing okay, electricity. So I'm really, okay, so I'm really confused. So I do my laundry in there. Mm-hmm. So I'm not allowed to put anything back into the closet? No, no. It's just it's gonna to be too full of Tesla power walls. Okay, so what how long does this last? Oh forever. Um you know it's it's just so in case there's a power outage here in the office, uh we'll be able to uh -huh. still have power here in the office. So I can't put my trash cans in there or anything? No, because it's gonna be filled with Tesla power walls. I am so confused. So I do my laundry in there. Am I able to get in there with laundry? Um, you know, we have a laundromat down here uh, in the back of the office. You you can come and, you know, just use ours, I guess. I'm sorry, but I paid for my washer and dryer. So I'm not sure why you're why you're doing this. Well, you could save money this way. You know, you could sell your washer and dryer. It's not mine. It's a part of the, the company. Oh, yeah. Well, American. don't do not do that then because, you know, we'll charge you for that. Okay. So how am I supposed to wash my clothes? Uh, you and can, that's what I paid for as part of my rent. 
So yeah, but you can just come down here and wash your clothes, you know, down in the back of the no, office. No, it's inconvenient. It's like in a storeroom. It's pretty packed, though. It's cause... Is everybody having this done? Oh, no, just you. We just needed a place that was convenient, conveniently located to where the power comes in from the street to install our Tesla okay, power walls. Well, I didn't approve this, and I pay monthly rent. I don't know how you can... Yeah, I, just, I didn't approve this. Yeah, but, you know, we need a place to put our Tesla power walls. It's like, it's just a bunch of batteries is all. It's not a big deal. Well, then why, if it's not a big deal, then how come I can't do laundry? And how I need this for storage. I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't, I have one storage closet. Well, don't you have a car? For storage? Yeah, just put stuff in your trunk. And drive around with it in my trunk? Yeah, why not? It, same thing. All my Christmas ornaments? Yeah, why not? Like what I else ski. what else what else are you using your trunk for? I ski. I, I go on trips. I'm sorry, I didn't approve this. I think you're gonna have to find somebody else. Uh I don't my lease includes a washer and dryer. I'm sorry. What if we just put one power wall in your closet and we put the rest in your neighbor's closet? We'll just put like five or six in your closet. I, do you work for maintenance? Are you with Waterford? Yeah, yeah, both, actually. Okay, um, because I didn't approve this, I'm not going to approve it. It's not a part of my lease. Yeah, and your, your phone call is really cutting out. Is, is, that, is that your fault or is that my fault? I think I might be having problems with my, my mixer. I don't know, but I didn't approve this, and this is not a part of my lease. Uh, can't you just put your washer and dr your dryer out in the living room? In the living room? Yeah, yeah. We'll give you like extension hoses so it'll reach. Is this a prank call? Yeah. It is. This is a prank call? Yeah, it's a prank. We don't have any Tesla power walls. Those things are expensive. I'm confused. We were just kidding with you. We were just joshing. It's a prank. It's a joke. We we're joking. I had to let her know it was a prank. She sounded like she's going to start crying or something. But I'm sure she is just filled with relief now that she's not going to lose her closet. And what was up with the sound? Could you guys hear how bad that was? I'm going to go back and listen right now. Yeah, that sounds like crap. I hope that's just her and not me. That didn't sound good. What do I do? Hopefully the next call doesn't sound like that. Oh shit, it's another apartment. What's with all these apartments? I thought I was going to be doing snow riding calls. I guess I can do that anyway. I can just say, hey, I'm your apartment neighbor. Stop writing on my damn car. Hello? Hi, Nancy? Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave from the apartment office. Okay. And I'm calling to let you know, um, we're, did you get the letter we sent? We're going to be there on Monday to, to start construction on the closet. You know what? You've got the wrong person. Oh, you're, uh, you're not Nancy in apartment 409? I am Nancy. Yeah, 409. Construction on what closet? Uh, we're going to be removing your front closet. You are? Why? Uh, we're just so the person next door, they wanna have, they're paying for a little bit more space. So we're going to extend their closet into your closet, and we're just going to no, remove. No, 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 no! You're not touching my condo. Oh no, we're just going to so, we're 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 going to remove the door, so you'll have more wall space, and then the closet just won't be there anymore. What are you talking about? I know nothing about this. Okay, well, we sent a letter. We're going to be doing this on Monday. We're, there's going to be contractors showing up uh, about uh, eight or nine in the morning. Well, number one, I'm not going to be there. Number two, I know nothing about this. Okay, so well, you don't have to I know be you there. Said you, we're, we're what just, do you? So, what? What? You're you're coming into my condo? Correct. Yes. What we're we're you, just going to remove. Do what? We're going to remove the closet. So you need to empty out your closet. I don't want you touching my closet. I've never consented to anything like this. Well, we sent you a letter. We're we're just going to be removing you it. So it. 
So you the, may have sent me a letter, but I've never agreed to this, and I don't even know who you are. Well, the resident next door, they, they want more closet space, so we're going to open oh, up that's very their... nice. That's very nice that they want more closet space, but you're not going to touch my... You're not coming into my condo. Oh, no, we I've absolutely never... are. We, we, we've, we sent a letter. No, and... you are... You know what? You may have sent me a letter. I never got it. I've never heard about this, and you will not come into my condo, and you will not remove my closet... This is my property, well, we sent and the I've never agreed to this. You, you, I, you need to check you know your mail. I, like, look on the kitchen table, see if your the letter's sitting you know there. What? You're probably just I, being lazy and not it, opening it, your mail. You know what? You're you're awfully arrogant. Awfully arrogant. You're being I check arrogant. My mail every day. You, we, we, what do you mean I'm being arrogant? You're acting like you're we don't have the right to, to remove remove your my closet. My front closet? Correct. Yeah, of, of course I have the right. Are you kidding? This is my condo. You are not allowed it to enter my condo, and I don't care about the people in any of the other areas. You are not coming into well, my condo. You are not touching it. It's not very so neighborly. You, you don't care about the people in the other areas? Well, I You're certainly do, but when it affects kind of my condo, you know what? Wait, Goodbye. Ma'am. And I'm going to leave instructions on in the first floor with everybody that you are not to come into my condo. No, we we have so, to come into the condo cuz we I don't we, care you ha- I don't care what you you have to. She, you are not coming into my condo. She's already paid care. for the extra space. She's going to be using your closet. No, she's not. Yes, she is. She is not. She absolutely so is. For, she paid for it. I don't care if she paid for it. I've never been informed. You that's just cuz you I, don't read your mail. Goodbye. You're not coming into my condo. Oh, yes. I will tell. I will tell Kevin. And oh, Kevin's uh, the, a motherfucker. The, the Kevin could go eat a eat a dick. Ke- Kevin doesn't control me. There we go. I ruined that one. Holy shit! I I need to get a big old list of people in apartments and start telling them I'm going to do crazy repairs in their apartments. This is kind of fun. I remember I did this a long time ago on a live show and someone in the chat room had me tell a girl that we were going to be installing gerbil tubes in all the walls, I think because the landlord's son had a gerbil and wanted to have a bigger habitat or something. So you're just going to see a gerbil running through your walls. It's going to be amazing. But it looks like the rest of these are not apartment buildings. I'm sure there'll be some more on this list. Good news, though. I think I figured out what the problem was with the sound on that previous call, it was just a loose wire, that's all. I tightened it up, or actually I jiggled it. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Hello? Hi, uh, Pamela? Yes. Hey, it's it's Roy down the street, I'm your neighbor. Yeah, hi. Uh, hey, um, I was wondering, do, do you think you could please um, not write on my car window every morning in the frost? Because it leaves marks on the window. I, what, um, I don't write on your car. Oh no! I I know it's you. It's it's fine. I'm not angry or anything. It's just you know when I'm driving, I can just kind of see remnants of of you know where you wrote your name on my car window. What? I don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just could you please not do that anymore? Uh, I don't do that. I don't know what you're. No, I I know it's you. I've got security cameras, and like you keep writing your name. On my car window, and I don't—I don't know where why you're. Do you, do- where you? Where? Where do you live? I, I'm just down. I'm like uh, just a, a little over a block away on Belmore. You know which one? It's. I've got the blue car. I don't. I don't write on your window. Well, who, I've never who else would done write, that. Who else would write your name on my car window all the time? What do you? I, I Roy, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I've never done that. Just, no, just please stop. I, that, that's all I ask. Just please. I have no. never done that. I want to see your security camera video because I've never done that. Well, that, that, it's just going to be awkward when I show you that it's actually you, and then okay, you'll, you'll I have to, see it. you'd have to admit it finally. I want to see it. You have to take some responsibility for no once in your I, life. I have no idea what you're talking about. You, you keep writing your name, your full name, with a heart around it, and look, I'm not interested. Okay, I'm taken. I'm married. I have. I'm married. I have no idea what well, you're talking about. Well, if you're about. married, you shouldn't be writing your name on some other guy's car window with the heart around it. That's weird. Uh, you must be crazy. You're crazy because I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you're crazy because you're doing this and then you're denying it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Just, just, you're loony. Goodbye. Whatever. Just stay out of my yard. Stay out of my driveway. She's told me I'm loony. 
Hello. Hi, Yuli. Yes. Hey there. Uh, it's your neighbor, Roy. I live down the street from you. Yeah. And um, I-, I was calling about your Christmas decorations. You must have the wrong neighbor. What do you mean? Um, I I don't know what you're talking about, about Christmas decorations. Yeah, why don't you have any Christmas decorations up yet? Yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess because it's November. Right, but it's been, it's it's like over a week since Halloween. You should have them up by now. Are you lazy? Okay, and why are you calling me because of this? Well, I just, we, you know, we've got to get in the Christmas spirit with the neighborhood and everything. You haven't put any decorations up yet. Can you just please put those up okay. this weekend? Um, yeah, I uh, don't think that you have any, you know, clout to tell me whether or not to put up any decorations. Well, I just thought you could be a good neighbor, though, and, you know, just, just put them up. Oh, that makes me a good neighbor? Well, I think there's lots of other things that would make people good neighbors. You're kind of being you you're kind of being a Grinch, you know, by not putting decorations up yet. Uh, okay, well, That's, you know, so be it then. You know, why don't you uh, just put an extra effort in then? How, how long? Uh, well, no, my decorations are up already. How long do you wait to put yours okay. up? Because last year, um, last well, at this point, it's probably not going to happen. Why not? Just to spite me? That's mm-hmm. that's a shitty attitude. No, no, has nothing. I don't even know you. You don't even know me. Yeah, but you're saying you're not going to put decorations up? Like, wh- I what's, didn't say that. What's wrong with you? Well, you just said it's not going to happen. Um, question is, what's wrong with you? You have nothing better to do than to call me and asking me about my decorations? I'm just trying to make the neighborhood look nicer, and, and you don't even okay. care. You're just you're not even going to put direct decorations up. I mean, okay. Jesus well, Christ, it's, cool. it's like right. a week past Halloween. You haven't done anything. I know. Yeah, isn't that sad? Yeah, I know. it really I is must sad. Really suck. Yeah. Are you, well, I'm are you sorry. Satanist or something? <laughs> uh, you have a wonderful day, okay? Whatever, whatever Satanist. Can you believe that lady? I was hoping she would have decorations up already so I could make fun of her for doing it too early. But what the hell? She doesn't even have her decorations up. Hello? Hi, Wendy? Mm hmm. Hi. Uh, this is Kevin. I'm from the apartment office. The apartment office? Yeah. Um, did you get the letter we sent you? We're going to be coming in on Monday to install a turbine in your bathroom. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, you're in unit A, right? 97 <laughs> drive? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be... you wouldn't in- be talking to me. Why not? You're the contact name we have. Oh, who set it up? Hell if I know. I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be installing a a turbine in your bathroom to generate electricity. Okay, perfect. So uh, the contractors... We have electricity. Don't call back. No, it's it's going to be for more electricity. Crap, that one didn't work. And that was the very last number on the list. I've actually called up every single number on this list at least three times. So I'm officially done with this list that Mongolian guy sent to me. Thank you, Mongolian guy, for the list. It looks like he sent me another one in here, but I'm not going to do that one today. I think I am finished for today, so time for voicemails. Hi, my name is Zachary. Okay. And I'm uh, and I'm from Battle Creek, Michigan. What, what I'm are you Cox, doing? I love your show. Your dox- I love the Snowplow show. You're doxing yourself. Giving your last name and your city. It's a very funny show. What the hell, Zachary? I just, I could watch it all the time. I watch it every day. It's one of my favorites. Aw, thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's with this long pause? What's happening? You cracked me up, Roy. Okay, Zachary. I'm going to bleep out your last name, just in case this is your secret way of doxing somebody. Hey, RB, it's Fatty McLardass, also known as Butthole Winker 34 from Omaha. Hey What's there. Doing? Say, um, I was following you to the Goodwill the other day, mm-hmm. and I happened to notice that you dropped off an old uh, VCR. Oh, shit. And it just so happens that I uh, I went in and uh, I bought that VCR, and uh, I'll be damned if uh, there wasn't a tape still in there from the 1980s. Um, looks like you left a copy of Kenny, uh, Kenny Loggins' uh, porn parody, uh, Highway to the Anal Zone. 
Oh, and um, I've got to confess, did Brad, not mean to do that. That son of a gun, and I self pleasured myself to it a few times. But uh, uh, needless to say, if you'd like it back, um, I can get that to you. Ah, that's but, uh, cool. Let me know. I've so, got a anyway, digital copy of it, so it's bye. fine. Butthole Winker thirty four. Right. Away. Bye, Butthole Winker thirty four. I'm just happy that someone's getting some enjoyment out of it, since I don't Brad, have it anymore. Apollo, I hate to make fun of you. Hey, Apollo. I'm sure I'm probably the millionth person to do this at this point, since I'm just getting around to listening to the uh, Halloween probably. show. You called the store Nordstorm? That's oh. not correct, my dude. Nordstorm? Nordstrom. No, it's Nordstorm. There's everywhere. I'm amazed that you haven't heard of them. You're incorrect. Especially since you've been everywhere, with yeah. stolen credit cards and stuff. Well, I didn't say that, so... Yeah, that, a that's a lie. Bye. Stolen credit cards, what? No, you're wrong. It's actually pronounced Nordstorms. I'm from the corporate office, and I know this. Uh, so, yeah. Big Moist. Hey, hey Big Moist. I love the last Hobo song with the late um, Halloween trick-or-treating. And that lady who you made apologize to your daughter, I, I thought it was really crazy when people started believing Carol, and they weren't like automatically like, this is the same guy, just with, with a different voice pitch. Yeah. But then when you started doing the little girl voice, and she actually believed it. I yeah, if any of you did not hear that, I put my daughter on the phone, which was just me putting my voice up. Like, like this, and I sound like a chipmunk, and nobody should believe this. But the lady seemed to believe me for a little while at least, and attempted to talk to my I daughter. I couldn't believe it. It was the same thought. Just like you were, I was laughing the whole time. So I couldn't even blame you for it not being able to keep that straight up but um thanks yeah i was wondering are there any other voices you had ever considered trying like i know you have the rb bot and other different kinds of things but i mean i'm not sure what else you could do but yeah. think about all these characters you could be playing I, okay i think i think i've done everything i can possibly do at this point the carol voice the robot voice the lower voice and now a kid i guess that's it i mean i, I could do carol like impersonate a man Hi, I'm Carol, and I'm impersonating a man. How's that one? Should I do that as a prank? Hey, Brad, it's Gloria. Hey, My dad Gloria. Has a really good idea that you should call up a homeowner and say, "Hey, we're going to be changing just the number of the house you live in. You know, we're just going to change the number, not the street you live on, because we're doing a new phase." That would be crazy. So you're going to have your neighbor's number, and just call the whole neighborhood and be like, so "You're going to have your next door neighbor's house number." But what if I told them we're going to give them a half of a number instead of a full number? They're going to get a half a number, like. 440 and a half make him feel like a hobo you know the street number stays the same the street name just stays the same like imagine how confusing that would be to say oh well you're gonna have to file with the post office or maybe say you are from the post office and things got too confusing or maybe yeah. they're building a new phase in the neighborhood do something fun like that okay bye or i could tell people we're gonna build houses in between their houses and that's why they're gonna become half houses I think that's the end of today's show. There's a few voicemails left in here, but I need to hurry up so I can try and get this edited and possibly put out today. I probably won't make it. It'll probably end up going out tomorrow. Sorry again for only doing one show this week. What the hell? Was that my Discord? Why is my Discord making noises? I always have those turned off. I didn't turn those on. I thought that was one of the voicemail people making Discord noises. Here, I'm going to shut all these off real quick. Wow, I got to listen to them as I shut them off. That's great. There's not just like a single button to shut them all off. Jesus Christ, what is all this? All right, no more Discord noises. I don't know how that happened. Uh, anyway, thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Ryan Jardina, Travis B, Anagol009, Gobi, and B.I. Eber for life. If you'd like to support the show and get an extra show every week, even on the week that I only do one snowplow show, I still did a couple hobo sods this week, you can sign up by going to patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support. But apparently, for this week at least, you can't go to newproject2.com slash phonelosers and sign up because they can't take anyone's money. That really sucks. I sure hope he fixes that. I kind of like that site. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. I stayed home from work, doing renovations, replacing the carpets in my basement. I noticed a hatch in the corner of the floor, so I lifted the latch and I opened the door. The hatch door opened into my amazement. There was a tunnel leading somewhere beneath my basement. Anticipation, my heart was racing, so I jumped in the hole in the corner of my basement. Under your house, calling from a tunnel Could you send me some food? My stomach's starting to crumble There's a lot of stuff down here I need you to help me Take it to the surface and sell it on eBay Now I'm down in the hole that I just jumped in And there's tunnels leading in every direction 
It's like an underground city down here So I'm hoping you could just lend me your ears There's a big waterfall, old computers and cars My phone's light's not so bright, but I found some cigars They smell real nice, I think they're from Cuba There's an old car down here, and the horn goes out I'm under your house, calling from a tunnel Could you send me some food? My stomach's starting to crumble There's a lot of stuff down here I need you to help me Take it to the surface And sell it on eBay I've been walking for a while And I'm feeling kinda nervous When I finally got reception My phone said I'm under your house That's why I'm calling you and I hope that you can help me find my way back home Or maybe send a canary There's a guy down here and I think he's a hobo He makes me suck his dick before release no homo There's a chest in the corner full of gold doubloons So don't you call the cops, I don't trust those buffoons I'm under your house calling from a tunnel Could you send me some food? My stomach's starting to crumble There's a lot of stuff down here I need Surface and sell it on eBay. Got a broom handle I found and I banging around on the ceiling in the hopes that somebody. Oh, wait, what's that sound? Oh no, robots. Oh shit. I'm an employee, I'm a janitor, and a scientist. Sir, no scientist would conduct themselves in this fashion.